Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're you know, back to Life is Strange. Now, okay, Chloe, where the, hell are you? the game crashed again, locked up, I had to control alt delete and close it. I'm wondering maybe if this end of the world party is also a Halloween party, so maybe, just maybe, I haven't missed the photograph and there, there will be a skeleton in the party with a skateboard for, that they stole from the science room or maybe the skater guy that we've seen is actually in a skeleton costume that might be it for the main story I, I kind of have this wonder about maybe you could have drastically changed this and had David Madsen be the bad guy too in, or even instead of Nathan I don't think so though. It, it seems all a little unlikely, uh, in my opinion. Let's see, all these people, they seem to just have glow bands and drinking drinks. They, they don't seem to have costumes. I think this was the girl that was gonna set us up with clothing. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Uh, Nathan's creepy question mark? We already know Nathan's creepy. What girl? Yeah, what girl? It's probably Chloe. But let's double check. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. Mm. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. Interesting. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Anything unusual? Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Hmm. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. This is like the worst environment ever. Oh, thank you, Max. To have a conversation really like that. this. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. Hmm. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Hmm. So she's, she's potentially going to help me. We can have that conversation again. Hi. Hey, Max. And uh, no, th no, thank. See if we can get some different answers. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. Hmm. Have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me, no what. Hmm. So why are you working? So we can skip that. that. Who hired you? Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. Wait a minute. So Mr. Jefferson has something to do with the Vortex Club? See, this is the problem. Is maybe the one person you don't focus on turns out to be the bad guy. Like. We saw that photography no, room I'm with okay. uh, Nathan and his father, but what if Mr. Jefferson is in on it too? What if Mr. Jefferson killed uh, Rachel Amber and Nathan just buried her? Well, we've got a lot of other people here. Like, I don't even know if all these people have been seen before. Uh, we did hit that element where there's at least 300 people by my calculation in this school and yet we've only seen about 20 of them over a week. This is the pool. He's jumping in the pool way too close to other people. And this guy's DJing too close to the water. Like, that's actually a decent amount of 
uh, electronics around you that's going to potentially get people electrocuted. And again, we're back to 18-year-olds in swimwear or underwear. That that jailbait feeling. Now, I tried to reduce the number of people here, which, if that has any real effect, m may have reduced uh, reduced the number of people in the crowd, but probably not. Let's see, I'm looking for the pictures still. How'd Brooke get in? Is she mad Warren asked me out? I think the answer is yes. I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. Then why are you here? So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. Hmm. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise. Kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Double moon superpowers. Let's tell about the superpowers. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. <laughs> With great power comes great bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> they would be pretty kick ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. So she's not too mad at me, but she is upset that Warren chose her. Hello, let's Max. skip this conversation I... No, I... and try some different responses. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. But I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? Skip all this. I know. You're not so. You seem so. And then let's ask her about the double moon. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, <laughs> And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Well, two moons would certainly. Uh, mess with the tides and potentially cause storms. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has to lose. Hmm. And uh, I guess we're back to the epilepsy warning again. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Now the the thing here is we think Victoria is their next target. The bad guy. Whoever the bad guy is. School days. Let's talk to Luke. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. Hmm. I was looking for Nathan. This is so bad. Here uh, like having the music. Uh he's dangerous. Sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now mm. all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I don't even remember the Prescott, uh, who Luke is. Let's ask about Sean Prescott. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Panda State. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. 
fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains. Take it. Mm. Preach it, brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. Mm. So for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. So is this the no one, one football guy? Is. is he hiding or something? Mm. See, we're just kind of talking to everybody. What's weird is we're still in the same chapter as the uh, as the section where we could have talked to multiple people looking for Nathan. So if those decisions were going to be registered as decisions, uh, we're also going to have the exact same decision of did we talk to this these people at the club or did who did we talk to before or first at the club no big deal really you look pretty fucking intense hmm. is nathan bothering you i have dreams of so that's the same response it all just goes to the same yes. line of dialogue what do you know about the vortex club that'll be hard to do when the prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code? VIP section? Elitist bullshit. Mm. Preach it, brother Lou. All right. Oh, thank you. And then the music is is going back and forth too. I wonder if I'm supposed to be using the music as some kind of timer. All right. So I want to go back and have the conversation the way I had it the first time. Just in case that actually does have some kind of yeah. butterfly effect, but I don't think it will. Preach it. No. All right, moving on. Bigfoot on otter action. Like skeleton with skateboard doesn't seem like we're gonna see that. Hmm. And here we have Alyssa about to get knocked in the pool. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Hmm. Of course, my object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the troll wall. Thank you again, Mystic Max. See, and I wonder if it, it's going to turn out that me saving Alyssa all these different times is is somehow going to end up with something incredibly worse happening to her. Look at Alyssa shake that booty. That's not really kind because she's not, and Max really just called her fat after being so nice to her this whole time. Let's see, we have... I always warned you. Let's see, let's go with... Kate? I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. Hmm. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and we can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. Hmm. She seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. Oh, I hate her voice. Uh, what about revenge? What about the viral video? I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Hmm. Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. Hmm. Let's ask about the Vortex Club. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have the It's talk. really, really surprising. Of All of these people are going to... Um, let's ask about Victoria. Like, I don't think she's going to tell me anything about Rachel Adam. And frankly, since we already know or are pretty certain she's dead we don't need more information about her we need to protect victoria. victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me or kate she must know i punch her in the face hmm. i probably should just for vortex club posterity 
Hmm. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. Hmm. Tell me now. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, can barely hear, hear these people talk. Don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was hmm. exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing. And thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. I've heard somebody explain that poem and that it's often mistranslated and that the poem really means of the two paths taken, it didn't make any difference at all. Uh, and even I have made that mistake as I've used, used that poem for my intro video on the channel on YouTube. It sounds good even if most people, including myself, get it wrong or, or mistranslate it. Although it is poetry, so you can have whatever interpretation you get from it is what you get from it. There is no right or wrong inter interpretation for a lot of art. Let's ask about revenge this time. Kate deserves revenge. We have to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else at Blackwell. Hmm. I can tell you know some serious shit by your face. You don't have to tell me now, but please let me know if I can help, like you helped me. Okay, that was a better response. Vortex Club. I know. Skip. Let's ask about Rachel Amber this time. I think Rachel Amber would agree. I didn't know her. But I hope she's safe and sound. Uh, yeah. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. Max, you look kind of tense. Maybe you should go crash. You had a tough week, too, with Kate. Plus, having to save my ass all the time. Hmm. I'm so. You kind of. Slightly are different response there. Uh, let's see if what happens if I say, tell me later. I wish I had time to hear it. Promise you'll tell me if next time we meet. That sounded ominous, mm. but I promise. Be careful out there, Max. Seems like I can scare her. The one thing, though, she. Yes, I I'm back. You scared mm. me first, Max. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. Let's ask about Nathan. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Mm. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. See, I'm, I'm scaring her, which might be the right response. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, what's the state of undress for the male to female ratio? We've got some swimmers in rather long swim gear hardly the european speedos uh or what you would wear if you were actually part of the swim team and then we've got girls in bikinis that aren't extremely revealing but they are two pieces hmm. what's this graffiti ah the wit of the vortex club hmm. A lot of people dancing in the pool, flashing lights. They really did not care to sell this game to people who might have epilepsy, did they? It was not even a concern. And you could have easily avoided it. This guy is dancing in an odd way. So I think we're good, and we can either go in the restroom, or look at the glow sticks. Trust me dude, you're not missing anything. And then the bouncer. 
I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. Hmm. Yeah, Vortex Club, I guess, is a terrible name. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Hmm. So. Here we are. Not anymore. Are you sick now? I can drink more later. Hmm. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. So there's a couple of girls in this shower section. Ah, it is a photo. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. So there's a skater guy with the graffiti that puts us now with a outside a barred window looking at the moon shot that I imagine's not gonna be too far from here. The tide is turning. Like I'd like to tear every one of these things down. So there's no escape. What is going on in this bathroom? Like, there's guys just peeing on the wall. There's duplicate uh, graffiti, I think. Good night, sweet prince. Like, that's the same thing. Ugh, gross. How did this even get here? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. But what is this? All these girls are standing in line to use this bathroom. I guess maybe they blocked off the other bath. Chloe must be around. Let's see. The tide is turning. Hmm. I guess we are also looking for Chloe who's potentially killing somebody right now. There's a guy. This is clearly a guy. This is clearly a guy. This is clearly a guy. Like, this is the oddest co-gendered bathroom I've ever seen or thought of is, I mean, weird. Just weird. Hmm. I guess, as far as conversations, though, there's only this guy to talk to, so we'll, we'll talk to him. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave hmm. want to get ripped uh you look pretty ripped already justin and not happy why did you even come tonight where else could hmm. i go in arcadia bay on a thursday night besides dana is here just not with me so yes this party sucks hmm. could i have gotten dana and him together Interesting. Rachel Amber won't be coming either. Damn, I was thinking about Rachel and Chloe tonight. Hmm. If they showed up together right now, shit would end. Rachel could always shut Victoria down. Good for Rachel. I wish I could have seen that. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. Hmm. And your voice sounds different you okay how about a quick dab uh no i'm i'm cool justin and I have yeah to the last away. thing she needs to do is take drugs that might affect her power else. negatively Fucking a maximus you're right i'm only torturing myself here plus i'm too loaded hmm. it's time to get my board and grind no seriously i'm out of here Oh, when everything is so that's fuzzy. one person that we potentially can get to leave. Let's have no. that conversation again, though, uh, and ask him about well, Dana. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin. 
But you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool, minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twist. Hmm. Uh, no. I and then it just goes back to the same conversation. If we talk about Dana, so we might as well ask about Nathan. Yo, Max. Uh, you look. Per Where else? Just by asking everybody about Nathan. That might make everybody keep an eye out for him. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Hmm. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You hmm. might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Hmm. Max, I know I'm... Uh, no, I'm... Fuck. So we'll go ahead and skip all of that. And... None of this really feels like it's changing anything. And what if it turned out that Nathan and Victoria were in that bathroom stall? <sighs> Let's see. You can see in these windows... Well, there, there's these lit up bulbs, and then there's these windows, and I was thinking maybe I could see the moon out through one of these, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can arrange myself in the right way. Everything flesh in Blackwell looks evil to me now. Fog machines, glowing squares. And I bet there's not a photo in the re reflection of the pool. Take some bad luck there walking under the ladder. That would be funny if that turned out to actually affect the game somehow. Hmm. It'd be interesting if there was a time rewind mechanic game where small actions cause bad luck and you had to constantly try to avoid these trap situations. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Let's speak to her. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Hmm. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Where is Courtney? Hmm. Are we... I need to find a way to access the VIP area. And... Is Courtney somewhere? Over here? Yes, this is Courtney, so I couldn't talk to her before. Let's talk to her now. So I better see if she can get me into this idiotic VIP section. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guests are arrived fashionably late. Say bon soir to the end of the world. Hmm. Even though you flake on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club. I don't think I had a choice there. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye. Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Hmm. Max Factor being a makeup? Hey, Sarah. Um, 
Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Hmm. And again, I don't think that was any action that I took. I, and why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? That seems kind of pointless. And now we're just into the next section. And the game saves. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. Hmm. Kate. <laughs> like, we keep getting these texts at the worst time possible, like you would in the real world. Uh, thank you so uh, much for coming by, Max. You've lifted my heart, Kate. I was so happy to see you smile again. It means so much to me and so many others. I have to go, but I wanted to say it was fun to go to the... That I also wanted to say, have fun at the movies with Juan. He's so sweet. He brought some school books I needed. Give him a hug from me, I will. Call me as soon as you can. Remember, Chloe's running around with a gun in this area. Uh, Hayden. And... She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody knows Yeah, nobody learns not to get wasted and nobody learns to not help their fellow man. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. A bong. Give me a break. And just having a bong in a game probably raises the age rating. Not that I think kids would want to play this game anyways. Some dang OG butts, so oh, I can barely see. Are these hotties next to me? Hmm. Uh, Nathan. There is no yes here. It's either no thanks or Nathan. No. I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope. Uh, the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen me? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and make a quick game. Hmm. What about Sean Prescott or Victoria? Hayden, does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club party? What doesn't he pay for? Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Dooms to expand? Hmm. Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. Hmm. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. Hmm. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to help. So that didn't work as a conversation. We'll try this again. Skip. And again, we're going to spend the entire episode just talking to people. Come on. I would kill to see you this is this is really just kind of a higher teal of a visual novel game it, the writing's all the same the only difference is they paid somebody to voice act it and made fewer options and fewer branches what about Victoria go ask her yourself I would but like I said Maybe you better take it easy to Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. 
Let's see if I can just skip one part of this. I think that's your job, Mm, no, there's set sections, so you can't just skip one sentence or a small part of things. Just talk to Taylor. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Max, look at you go, girl. Even they knew there was too much Have dialogue here that? because no, they broke it up fine, between I mean, the VIP it's section. Been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. Like, well, let me ask you about Nathan first and How Victoria. Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in a Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed. But why come? Why did you come tonight? Membership dues? Don't laugh, but I had a weird vibe this might actually be the last Vortex Club party. End of the world, right? Hmm. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, hmm. thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us. So, we didn't even know that she had the surgery, but clearly she would have been in the hospital if... Kate did Dad. die earlier. Taylor. No, right. that's Let's skip now and ask about Victoria. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister. Or something. She really cares about him. Hmm. Is this why you want to be in a fort? No. Skip. Max. I'm like Skip. Tell Kate was dosed. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a mm. pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And mm. Oh. So, more, more of the story seems to be wrapping up. I want to just look up here and make sure there's not a photo opportunity. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Hmm. We can see this is a bathroom, but there's nothing really here. Who's this barman? So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. Hmm. Trying to look Chips at the food. Crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. Hmm. So there's Victoria and Logan. Victoria, your picture so has to win. Yeah. Dana and Taylor. Where'd Chloe go? I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Yeah. No, Logan, you are not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Like, here's how would Chloe have made it this far without causing such a, a huge disturbance? Can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? We didn't really have any conversations. Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Hmm. Why? Business of Nathan. Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't hmm. seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see you, Max? You're yeah. so cute, and we never really talk. <laughs> That's true. Talk about what? Yeah. It didn't really feel like we could talk to to Logan. Uh, I imagine there was more dialogue and interaction with him, and it got cut for time in production. Talk about what? The next Bigfoot's game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. 
Logan, don't make me hurt. <laughs> Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. So Victoria, Dana, and then Trevor. You dance worse than my dad. And yes. what can you do this? <laughs> okay, now this DJ. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Zachary, Juliet, a chair to sit down. I imagine that might be a trigger. And there's a couple this way, and I can't go this way. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Hmm. So I think the chair will probably trigger things. Hmm. This is gonna be weird if it does actually trigger something, though, by talking to Juliet. And we've got all these other people to talk to. Four more people. But, I mean, Victoria. Let's go ahead and look at these people I'm and talk glad to them. Dana ended up with Trevor. Yay, Max! I can't hmm. believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. Hmm. Let's ask about the end of the world, and then let's ask about Trevor first, then rewind. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows hmm. how to be safe. I hear you, Dana, but I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Hmm. What do you know about Sean Prescott? What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, Rich? He's coming rich? up way too often. He's Nathan. gonna be the real bad Prescott guy. He's gotta be. a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready hmm. for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like mm. a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. Oddly, the camera does not focus on him. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Alright, now let's rewind this conversation and have it again so we don't have to talk to Trevor mm. they spent some extra animation to <laughs> animate people as bad dancers but fine how's the end of the world going great this has been the worst fucking week of my life so i needed to act like a carefree student tonight for kate i hear you dan I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I... We can go ahead and let's ask about the Vortex Club this time. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Hmm. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. Hmm. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need hmm. any club to be cool or have fun. And the funny thing is it very possibly because might be a cult. Or the attempt to create one. I'm glad Trevor. Anyways, let's skip this. We prepared the dialogue. Mm. Let's see, so a lot of the people in the Vortex Club are are looking to dismantle the club too. If you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the loop. And we just have to look at Juliet. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again. She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge on her or something. Hmm. Well, then that leaves us with the chair and Juliet. 
I mean Victoria. Man, I'm surprised I've I've even gotten half of these people uh, names right. I've actually done better than I would have suspected. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Hmm. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. Hmm. That tornado came right now. I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. Hmm. I hate feeling this way. Dark and angry. Yeah, pretty dark. And what's funny is the music got quieter when I'm sitting here having this introspective moment. See, again, those feel like they would have been achievements. Oh, nice little visual glitch as this girl danced right through my arm. So Victoria must trigger this or talking to everybody must trigger this. Um, that's, I guess, I'll be on the other thing. Maybe, maybe if I leave the VIP section, I'll find something too. Hmm. Well, here's the queen bee. Here's the queen bee. So, I figured we would have finished episode four here, and this makes me really feel like episode five is going to be rather short. Or maybe it's just going to turn out that episode 3 was rather short um, and pretty pointless in, in the long run of things. In fact, com almost completely pointless. Things that were set up in episode 1 and 2 at least kind of make sense. There's one more picture, so we're not that far from the end. There's only one more location. There's no text. And we are on page 63 of this ever-growing uh, journal which there's way too much work being put in the, this journal like each one each little doodle each paragraph uh, she must spend 12 hours rewinding time writing in this thing uh, so again we're in the situation that I said last time we may in five minutes finish this episode and just skip to episode five. We may end up spending an entire 45 minutes or so uh, doing the next episode and then finish it. Uh, from th what I've done in the club, in, in this Vortex Club party, all I've done is talk to everybody, kind of see the endings. They're just kind of wrapping up things that almost certainly aren't going to play any real part at the end. And uh, we haven't really learned anything new. Sean Prescott's name has been thrown out a few times. Uh, but he's been way too behind the scenes to, to turn out to be the bad guy that I imagine he is going to be. Uh, Mr. Mason... The, our photography teacher's name got mentioned once. It would be very, very surprising if he turned out to be the bad guy, but not incredibly surprising. There are a few factors that might link him to. David Madsen is completely out of the picture. Chloe is somehow completely out of the picture. Um, I don't even know how that's happened. Anyways, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.